Time for another one of our favorite kind of videos here at the gallery. And this is a big batch of fish. Yeah, it has so many boxes, so <laughs> many fish. We kind of went a little crazy on this one, but we've been doing that lately. Yeah. I would like to point out that's a direct response to the people watching and coming into the store. <laughs> yeah. so, like, Thank you, thank you guys for allowing us to do stuff like this. This, this is not possible without people like that. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Charles. Well <laughs> said. Thank you for that reminder. Okay, Any, can we open the boxes now? Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the one in front of you so that you can start to see over the top again, shall we? Can do. <laughs> All right. Careful, that rubber band's pointing. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like a pointer right at Amy. <laughs> I was watching. All right, for starters, we have fish, cory cats, panda cories. Nice. Big groups of panda cories. They're love so it. cute. They're adorable fish. They've been very popular lately. Mm -hmm. They have. Albino cories, for all of you that are into that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're. Fine. Yeah, they're yeah, fine. all right, leave the judgment out of it. <laughs> all of those cory cats do really well in groups bigger than people think. And maybe that should be the theme of this, like what we're unboxing, because I know we got <laughs> large quantities. When you see a group of five to ten Cory cats as opposed to a group of three, it's amazing how the behavior comes yeah, out. Yeah, like a different fish. Yes. We do need to point again point out that we are getting large groups of Cory cats because people are taking that advice and we can't keep them inside. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a lot of sense right now. <laughs> All right. Gold barbs, another good standard barb. Yeah, very uh, basic. Very there's... basic, but very good for what it is. It's it's hard to find that shade of like gold yellow. Yeah, right. And they're so hardy. They're so outgoing. Yep, great. Sturbe quarries. Good. These are these are a favorite for me. Mm -hmm. Those are my. Cats. I like. If I had lot. to pick one quarry cat, that is my favorite. Is it? Not yeah. a bad choice. Yeah. Very I just cool. love that pet. It's not my all-time favorite. <laughs> I just like them. All. Yeah. Uh, rabbit snails, yes. orange ones. That's a good batch of rabbit snails right there. Rabbit snails have been really popular lately. They have the character, they're not going to overbreed. They are really fun to have. I love the way they clean up dead plant too. Yes, definitely. And they look ridiculous. They do look ridiculous. <laughs> that always helps. Speaking of looking ridiculous, how about this bag of worms? <laughs> they're tiny! I know. <laughs> Little teeny tiny coolie loaches. Well, when they were labor dead labeled as zipper coolies, what did you expect? <laughs> That's a good point. As if they're not already tricky enough to catch. Uh, That's another fish that when there's a bunch of them, their personality really comes out. If there's one, you're probably never going to see it. Yeah. So this is a species that we've never had in the store before, by the way, at least not yeah. to my yeah. knowledge. And they do look kind of zippery in their pattern because uh -huh. they have like a bar along the body and then the weird, really tight striping pattern that you kind of see in the other variety. Yeah, Not I mean, just because of the way they zip all around. Yeah. That look doesn't come out in pictures, so it's kind of surprising to me. Carry tetras, nice big group of carry tetras. Beautiful. The I blue like emperors are the other name for these guys. A little smaller than the other yeah. emperor tetras. But just as beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that should be a good easy egg scatterer as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Speaking of easy egg scatters, giant danios. Oh, no. That's just a good staple in the hobby. You want to add some big, bold activity to a tank, you can't do giant danios. Something that, that no. never stops moving. Yep, ever. Constant. All right. We're going to go to this one next. We're leaving that big box in your way. It's going to hide. <laughs> that was a Ooh, good shot. That was hard. <laughs> We need to get a little basket over there. <laughs> One of these days, I'd like it to hit like the camera and like the or like the mic. Uh, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> long fin bristlenose albinos. So these are long fins, super red. Super red. Yeah, they probably have a, are a little pale in the bag, but nice. Those are really really cool. I know some people who are going to be happy so about those. The, they weren't kidding about the long fins yeah. on those either. What are those? Oh, white clouds. White clouds. White clouds. Love these guys. Mm -hmm. White clouds, great egg scatterer. Um, they do do the white clouds, great egg scatterer. <laughs> they do really well in big groups. And you don't need a heater for white clouds. <laughs> Sorry, Charles and I are just 
both laughing about how you almost said do to you. Because you don't even with, actually have to say it. <laughs> it's like working with 12 year olds. Pineapple swords. Aw, they're pretty. I love this pattern. Great color. I really love it when they get that like little saddle. Like yeah. this one right there. They just look so classic to me. It's just good colorful mm -hmm. libraries. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> Look, it's a bag of murder beans. Yay! Um, hey, these are they're coming big. In much bigger wow. than they usually nice. do. Okay, so this is basically full size here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah! That's really cool. I haven't seen full size pea puffers in a very long time. Oh, that's the right name for them, right? Not murder beans. <laughs> <laughs> it may be the correct name, but not the accurate one. <laughs> Pearl Daniels, another good group of fast, active, moving fish. I think this is my favorite Danio. Is it? Mm -hmm. I've often said that I think Danios are underappreciated. I think Pearl Danios, in particular, are the underappreciated Danio. <laughs> they get some really nice intense sheen to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you've taken care of them properly, they get a nice like mother of pearl mm -hmm. going on. They're, they're so reflected good. iridescent. Yeah. Oh. And when they're in breeding mode, they'll even get like a almost neon orange stripe along their their, their spine. It's beautiful. Gorgeous little fish. Mm -hmm. More of these long, thin, oh wait, what's the beauty? No, these are blue eyes. These blue ones eyes. are albinos, but you can see the little blue eyes. It's almost a little creepy to me because you can really see their eyes, but they're pretty. That is a little creepy. Yeah. It's staring at me. Uh-huh. What is it thinking? Is it judging me? It's Probably. just showing you that the rest of them are judging you too. You can't <laughs> see it. Green sword tails. I like that you ordered classic green sword tails. So yep. that's going to be based on the wild type. That's what a sword tail's gonna look like in a while. This was actually a customer request, and I'm, I am was happy to get that one. Yeah, I like sure. to see them. Yeah. And I think they're beautiful as the wild type. I agree. The wild type swords are my, me too. But, you know, y'all know we're biased around right here <laughs> about the wild types. Flame tail endlers. Cool. Nice orange on those tails. Yeah, Bane those are tails. pretty. Yeah. So now we have Red ones and green ones. <laughs> All right. Nice. Ooh. The Rubesco puffers. Tell me about these, Amy. Those are the red-eyed puffers. One of the smaller species. I think that they can get three inches, but okay. I've never seen them that big. Still going to have the puffer personality, but I've definitely heard some reports of people being able to keep them in a group. I and see that they ship them pretty. in the, their own bag. Yeah. All in the same bag, which makes me think that's a possibility. They're so beautiful. That one was looking at us like, I'm going to pop. No, I'm going to pop. I'm going to get <laughs> These are nice. More of the bubblebee cichlids. Very cool. Came in a little bit bigger than yeah, the last ones, definitely too. Definitely some males and females in there, too. Yeah, some people liked the ones that we're going to put in the biotope so much, they wanted us to get more for them. Cool. I like it. <laughs> All right, now we can start getting some boxes out of your way, Amy. <laughs> don't need to stand on my tiptoes anymore. Right. Would you like a... <laughs> Box to stand up. <laughs> a little stool. Yeah. Yeah. I have the power. <laughs> Speak among, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to mess up your, your rhythm mojo sure. there. You got some rhythm going on it. No, I just want to look at fish. Ooh, oh, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Variatus platys. There's something about the tuxedo look that I like. Mm -hmm. These have that really nice big black blotch on them, which seems like it wouldn't be as good, like it would take away the color. To me, it just emphasizes the color on the rest of the fish. Yeah, that contrast is yep. beautiful. And yeah. I like the orange tails. They look good. I like them. Mm -hmm. Hemochromus Mwanda. This is part of the jewel cichlid group. Yeah, talk about your least favorite cichlids, but <laughs> this is one of the uh, undescribed species of jewel cichlids. They should only get like four inches long. Nice. They should be absolutely stunning. And for the people who want them, they will be the perfect 29 gallon pair. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm seeing some of the really cool pearl mm, colors showing mm. up in the cheeks on those guys right now. Yeah. They're going to be gorgeous. They really are. It's hard to beat the um, cheek coloration on a honey promise. Anyway, yeah, I agree. Yep. Cool fish. Lipstick gobies, <laughs> one of Amy's favorites. I do like these guys. The sissy opus seem to be pretty good algae eating gobies, but I don't think you should rely on any fish to get rid of algae for you. And they do have little red lips that oh are goodness. really, really cute. <laughs> Is it just the males that get, that get the red? No, I think it's all of them. It? They're just not fully colored okay. up yet. They look so curious. They are. I like them. <laughs> Good job. Threadfin rainbows. Love threadfin rainbows. Two males displaying to each other is such a cool look. Yeah, we just talked about this fish a ton in our Fish That Make Us Smile podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excellent. So far, Amy, out of the park. Cool. Good job. Well, we're only halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Black ruby barbs, that's for Charles. That's the, for the barb nice. guys. We, uh, uh, if you've been keeping track of our breeder lab stuff, <laughs> we recently got a spawn from these. Nice. So, uh, nice. Keep on the lookout for that being detailed further, but uh, the Facebook page, you're going to get like little highlights of what happened. I expect a full report. <laughs> <laughs> and now try it yourself at home. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of something that we need to work on in the breeder lab, Ooh, look at the size of these Congo tetras. Wow. I need Very to nice. order them large. But man, those are probably the nicest Congos I've ever seen. They look great. Definitely some males and females in there. The males and females are very <laughs> easily distinguished. Definitely some males. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Wow. Nice. Lepidolemporologus kendali. This is one of the Tanganyikan cichlids. Look at those. They're, they're <laughs> jumping in the bag. So I think you might yeah. need a lid with you this You definitely fish. need a lid with these guys. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you'll find some crispy critters on the floor in front oh, of the tank. No. <laughs> Carpet just... surfing crispy critters. Yeah. Fish jerky. Fish jerky. Fish jerky. <laughs> <laughs> or snacks if you have a cat. <laughs> Scarlet Battis. Aww. Why did we need more Scarlet Battis again, Charles? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to our podcast on uh, least favorite cichlids, <laughs> and you can get the details on why Charles doesn't want to talk about the fact that we need more Scarlet Battis. <laughs> Although you may be able to get the gist of it here. <laughs> uh, Hexazona barbs. Speaking of successful oh. breeding stories, right? I'll take those. No, uh, personally, not no, but that's an ever going crusade here. Yeah. <laughs> those are one of the true blackwater species. Right? They're true blackwater species. Black and that's actually, um, I'll talk about it later with you guys, but I'm planning on filming today talking about what the setback was and how to move on from there so other people can adjust to that too. Cool. cool. I like it. <laughs> Ah, uh, that one's Ooh, not going to fly. Ooh, that's a dud. Total dud. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, what do we have here? Oh, the peppermint pike heads. I couldn't resist. I love these guys. They're so cool. And I told them, pretty, pretty please, can you try to get us a pair? And they said they will try. I see one. Ah, there's the other. What do you think? Does it look like a pair? I guess maybe just time will tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell in the bag. But so but this is a so fish cool. that's notoriously considered an obligatory piscivore, which means you gotta, according to the literature, feed them little small feeder fish. We have had success getting them onto other foods. Yeah, frozen bloodworms. Last time we had them, they were taking them like they loved them. They devoured mm -hmm. them. Fine, I will start another video series on training peppermint pipe heads. I hear you loud and clear. But they're one of the mouth fruiters. I think they can hold for like two months or something wow. like that. So it would be a really fun fish to work with. Amy's trying to convince me to go really crazy as the Infantive guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Infantoid mean, guy, I should say. Yes. Yes, that would be are. like a deep cut to have on your list. <laughs> like... They are an Infantid. They are impressive predators. They will eat your small fish. They will eat your medium fish. They might try to eat your large fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big mouths, right? But Big mouth brooders. <laughs> a really cool, amazing, unique fish. Glad you got those. Very nice. What do we have here? 
Wow. Oh my god, we have so many people asking about these. Yeah. <laughs> Big tri Nice. Nice. Definite males and females in the mm, tank, definitely. in the bag. Yeah. You know they're good fish when you can tell them males and females apart in the bag. Yeah. In the bag. That's a good sign. This is one of the more popular wild types of episcos, and I don't have any complaint with why right. that is happening. It's like, yep, get it. Hey, wait, wild types? We like those, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so non-wild types are cool too. This is a pair of gold gardener eye killies. If you want to start with trying to breed killies, these are the fish for you. Mm. Maybe not the gold type, but gardener eye killies in general. <laughs> but or maybe the gold type. Any of the gardener. Yeah. Any of the gold type are just as easy as the, as the wild types. Um, these guys are big and fat and, and they should be. They really are fat. Ready to go. Yeah, that's, that's some big gardeners. Love me some killies. What do we got here? I don't know, I just keep seeing this. Theory and red rainbows. Oh, wow. oh good job cool. expanding our rainbow selection. When the males color up on these, it is the big, bold red. Yeah. And then you can sort of see it happening. It's a shade of red you don't see often. Right? Oh. Like a specific shade of red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good bright, or bold gold females, bright red males. Yeah. Great group of fish. Look, if we can pull on this side, how about you guys? Uh, I've got three over here. All right, what do we got here? Teacup gungeons. Oh, look at how big those are. Wow. <laughs> and I had to get 25 of them. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> because I think we have almost that many orders. Wow. Uh, we've been talking Good. about them a lot, and that fish is rightly super popular right now. Mm -hmm. Great fish that can be in addition to a lot of different planet tanks. They are going to mark out their little tor territory in the bottom of the tank. But it's a little territory, so they still are fine with some smaller fish. Um, yeah, I can't say enough about these. They're, mm -hmm. they're gorgeous little unique fish that are going to do a great job of giving you something interesting at the bottom of the tank. Mm -hmm. For you history nerds out there, these would be the petty kings of the fish world. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Rosy loaches, schooling loaches. Schooling nano loaches. Nano loaches, <laughs> yes. Amy and I were talking about this the other day about how like the distinction between these and like the um, sit the monkey loaches yeah and how those function very similarly to like the pygmy s where it's like okay it's a pygmy version of a loach but it doesn't really behave loachy right so these <laughs> behave loachy yeah they do. <laughs> yeah they're all yeah go ahead oh the fact he's got to buy other stuff got him Charles. More fish! More, more fish! fish. <laughs> more fish! <laughs> that was a worthy pause, guys. Yeah. yeah. More Corys! More Corys! <laughs> yes. Cory Doris Aeneas. This is like, okay, I want a cool Cory cat, but I don't want to spend a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. Aeneas Corys. Yep, never get old. Yep. They're the oldie but goodie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Classic for a reason. All right, this is the last set of boxes. Speaking of never getting old, unboxing fish never gets old. <laughs> Went right over my head. <laughs> yeah, well. I know, it's so exciting. What do we got? Brigitte Rasboras. Just another little chili Rasbora restock. Nice. Always got to restock on these <laughs> Oh, nice group of cardinals. Good deal. Yes, one out of two. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. They actually gave us the option this time if we wanted Brazilian or Colombian cards. Really? Petros. Interesting. Well, uh, we went looks, with Brazilian. <laughs> looks like we got about 100 of them. Yes, we did. We should be able to fill about half the orders with that, right? And I cannot wait to see this group swimming together. Oh, yeah. That is another fish that big groups, oh, they're gorgeous yeah. in big groups. It's like exponential how cool they get the more <laughs> you keep them. So this one is for the Episto people out there. Mm -hmm. One of the great dither fish for Episto's is pencil fish. And these are the purple pencil fish. Mm -hmm. That would be uh, more phalari, I believe, right? Um, yes, because the other one is rubro fadas. I believe so. The purple one <laughs> and the coral red. <laughs> anyway, something what, like that. What are the other? Yeah. I don't know. It'll be on the screen, so we don't we don't need to know. <laughs> Resbora hats staple in the hobby right. for good reason. And those ones that they send us with the orange. I can't believe that. 
aka the Halakin Rasbora. Marble hatchets. These guys should be in more tanks. Mm -hmm. Well covered tanks, but in more tanks. Mm -hmm. Really cool fish. They just add that interest right at the surface of the tank. Yeah, and they don't mess with anybody, and you can still have a school filling out the middle and a school at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Cata punctatas, red fin cottos, right? Yep. Yep, little shell yep. dwellers. One of the more colorful shell dwellers, I yeah. think. Nice. Very cool. That'd be a Lake Tanganyika. And last bag in this box is. Trets. Trets. This is my favorite Tanganyika killifish. 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 As soon as I said it out loud, it was wrong. Yes, yeah. these are not Tanganyika killifish, which there is one, and I wish we could get them and do well with them. But yeah. Tanganyika cichlids. They kind of look like a little miniature Pontosa. Yeah, very cool. They kind of act like one, too. They do, yeah. Some people, I think, are going to take that to mean that they're really aggressive, but frontosas aren't really that yeah, super pretty, aggressive. They're, they're just big. Yep. <laughs> Interesting thing about Trenocephalus, they seem to be a very slowly maturing fish, and so there's not a whole lot of people that are breeding them successfully because people get impatient waiting for them to mature. I do know one particular member of the aquarium club who did successfully breed Tret. Congratulations, Chris Carpenter. Nice job. <laughs> um, but they're not they're not a common, easy, you know, we think of a lot of the, the African cichlids as you get them in, you breed them, and you can get rid of them because mm -hmm. most of them are that easy. Trust them not that way. And they're worth holding on to. Yes, I agree. If you're cool enough. If you're cool enough. <laughs> Here's a nice big group of fish, and they are Rominos, nice. Tetris, Rominos, Tetras. Nice little group. Yes. And I think we've got two yeah. bags of those. Yep. Bigger yep. group. <laughs> Big group, yes. What what fish fish I think of the schooling tetras, they are by far the best at schooling. They like to keep that, that unified group thing growing on, don't they? They're the yeah. schooliest. Yeah. The school <laughs> the schooliest schoolers. Survey tetras. We're really dorky today, guys. <laughs> today. Today. We're especially dorky today. <laughs> These are Serpe Tetras. I like Serpe Tetras. I'm glad you got Serpe Tetras. I got Serpe Tetras for you. Thank you. It's a good red. <laughs> good, easy, yeah. They're one of the few things I think mix well with an angelfish. Mm -hmm. And I'm throwing that out there because this week I had multiple conversations of, so I want to put angelfish in my community and I had to be like, you got to be a little bit more selective there. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, yeah, anyway, that's, a, that's another video. <laughs> Survey tetras are cool. We like those. Paleotis cores. Oh, good. Nice. They look great. Look at the colors in those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I ordered almost every cory they had on their list. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now, one thing I want to know about Paleotis uh -huh. is they're native to Peru. So that means that they have a range that gets pretty far south. Um, they are actually what I would call not just a, like, they are true, like cool water cory cat, like upper 60s, and they're happy. So. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. low, wow. six, low 70s, upper 60s. Well, I that, didn't know they could take that. That's cool. them up to a lot of different types of tanks. Yeah. Speaking of staples here at watercolors, <laughs> a nice bag of 50 Amano shrimp. Yes, big chunky ones. Nice, they look great. Yep. This is the first time in like a year that we've gotten a mono shrimp. And we still have two or three. <laughs> Good. So there's plenty. Yes. And last but certainly not least, look at all the cool bettas. Yay! We got some veil tails. Yeah, That's a good sweet. red one. Ooh, I like this look one with that. the blue and peach. That's a cool little stripe. Pretty. These are large bettas too. Yeah. Like their body size. That is a really good rich blue. Great. Solid red. I love solid red. That is yeah. very cool. And I love the, the classic blue and red coloration yeah. too, like this guy here. Very nice. Beautiful. Ooh, he's kind of unique. Yeah, he is. Smoky. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. They always do such a good job with their better. I know, they do. I'm always happy to see them and I'm always surprised by at least one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. There's a big batch of fish. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> they got a lot of work to do putting fish away. Um, Follow us on YouTube, keep following these videos uh, so they can be the first one to find out what fish we're getting in. Mm -hmm. If you want little, keep tabs on little projects or 
you're more likely to see that on Facebook or Instagram. Um, YouTube for is slowly turning into the like here's the full report mm -hmm. for the Breeder Lab. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and for the more in-depth, listen to us talk for a long time. Check out our podcast, the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery Podcast, wherever you listen. And as always, have lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching, and let's keep those hands wet. Awesome. Great. Excellent. Quick reset. We do the bayonet. Yeah. Bayonet. Yeah.